Hey everyone, David Cameron left office a couple of years ago after resigning, so what's he been up to in the meantime? Well, for one, I saw that not too long ago the Chinese invited him to give a speech, which only goes to show that it's hard to know who the British Prime Minister is these days if you ban Google and Wikipedia. And it was China after all, so it probably cost him a lot of money, because they don't like free speech. Get it? Anyway, in addition to scraping a living as an after-dinner speaker, he's decided to do what a lot of people do when they've been let go, namely he's written a book. And unlike Dave, who resigned as soon as things got a bit difficult, at least the book has a spine. Wouldn't it have been good though if this book had been a bit like a Tom Clancy style thriller or perhaps something a bit more classical like when Churchill wrote a history of the English speaking peoples, excellent to this day by the way. I read a summary of what's in this new book though and it's not a lot really and most people would rather if he'd published his tax return at least there might be an interesting plot twist at the end that nobody expected. Whereas what we did get was a Alan Partridge style rant about people he didn't like and how people didn't like him as much as they should have. The best part is really that after three years of contemplation, his best suggestion to the politicians of the day is to rerun his referendum in the hope that people do as they're told this time around, with zero thought, of course, as to what they'd do if, as the poll suggests, it returns exactly the same result. It's sort of like when his publisher kept asking when the book was going to be finished and he kept saying, give me another six months, and the publisher kept asking, hoping for a different result. The sad part really is that there's so many missed opportunities here for utterly throwing people under the bus that we'd have happily paid money for. I'd have loved to have read the excruciating detail about how he shamelessly manipulated Nick Clegg year after year for his own personal gain and ambition before using him as a human shield at the election. Or what about a Hunter S. Thompson inspired novel where an unnamed Chancellor of the Exchequer goes on a road trip to Vegas? And what about that story about the pig? What's his take on it? Any word not yet, Dave, or do you not kiss and tell? Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.